I was scared. I was scared. Well, Disney is now changing their tune for their new Snow White movie that is now coming out in 2025 instead of 2024. But now they'll be singing, hi ho, hi ho, it's off the woke we go. <laughs> instead of the original song, because it seems like the people who are anti-woke in response to the Snow White remake have been heard. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into today's video, if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing on this channel, I have a Patreon. The link is in the description. Give if you want to give. No pressure. Now, you all know the drama surrounding Snow White. We heard that this movie was going to be remade, and we were already upset because Disney has made quite a few remakes in its day, and they haven't been good. But we took this one in, and soon we got the news that Snow White would be played by a Hispanic actress by the name of Rachel Zegler instead of somebody who is actually Snow White. So we took a deep breath and said, okay, at least let's see how she does on the press tour. And these are the highlights. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937. And we absolutely wrote a Snow White. She's that is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince. And she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. And the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. So with that, we caught wind of the new plot line, if we can even call it that, where Snow White is now a feminist goddess who doesn't need a man and doesn't care about love. Therefore, the entire structure of what was Snow White in 1930 was completely upended. But if you thought you could rely on maybe those old seven classic dwarves for a little bit of nostalgia, they decided to take that away too. And instead, we got the seven magical diversity hires. So even though this 2024 version of Snow White had the name, it looked and felt nothing like the original, which I guess is what Disney was going for because the original was so anti-feminist and didn't have enough representation. And maybe Disney thought that the audience was going to be elated about this new Snow White that felt nothing like the original. But in the end, it's seems like nobody was cheering them on except for maybe Peter Dinklage who wants to see an end to dwarfism in film altogether. And then came the backlash. People speaking out both left, right, and center about how they didn't like how this new version of Snow White sounded. That it was okay for women to want to fall in love. It's okay for Snow White to actually be Snow White. And maybe they loved those seven dwarves. And it seems like all that backlash mixed with the sag after strike and the WGA strike forced Disney to come back in and reflect a little bit on what they had done with this film. And now we're getting news that it will no longer longer be released in March of 2024, and instead in March of 2025. And with that news came a little bit of a clue that maybe diversity is not our strength because it seems like the seven magical diversity hires have been now switched out for seven CGI dwarves. And they look like CGI dwarves, they do. <laughs> Now, I'll point out the obvious. It's going to be kind of strange to have seven CGI characters in a movie that was meant to be live action, but we saw a lot of that in The Little Mermaid, so maybe this will work out. And guess what? I guess Peter Dinklage can still be happy on this front because none of the CGI dwarves will be played by real actors with dwarfism. We don't want them to have jobs, do we? Who knows? Maybe they'll hire seven of them to voice the CGI dwarves. And with this CGI change with the seven dwarves, you'll have to think that they're probably going to be moving around the plot a little bit, seeing what they can do and what they can throw to the cutting room floor in order to maybe reinvigorate that 1937 vision that Walt Disney had of Snow White. Will they even have enough scenes to make the prince an active part of this film? Because Rachel Zegler alluded to the fact that he might be entirely edited out. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. And if so, did they shoot anything where he in fact saves her or they do have that true love's kiss at the end of the film? Because a feminist icon would never. I guess we'll have to wait till 2025 to figure that out, which is already insane. But it looks like there are other Snow White alternatives being made. And even with all these changes, the date pushed back, the possible plot restructuring, the seven CGI dwarves, you should still go to bed at night wondering if Kathleen Kennedy is somewhere hiding in your room waiting to pop out and scare you with more diversity hires in Disney films. Ah! 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 Eric, it's okay. It's I got okay. Matt, Matt, I had a dream that 
I was replaced by a diverse woman. A few sites have now been reporting that Disney may be set to cast Michael B. Jordan as, you guessed it, the titular demigod Hercules. And should I add the Greek demigod Hercules? And of course, this is obvious. Hercules is Greek. He's not meant to look like Michael B. Jordan. But there is an ongoing theory that Disney is hell-bent on taking any ginger character that has ever appeared in any of their films and swapping them with a diversity hire. And it looks like with Hercules, if this is to be found true, they've done it yet again. So where's the redhead representation at Disney? Despite the supposed reports of them wanting to be less political in their films and wanting to get out of the culture war, it seems that they're there nonetheless. So as always, I will no longer be relying on Disney to be a factory for the classics. I have a feeling we will not see another timeless film out of this studio for a very, very long time. And I certainly won't be holding my breath till March of 2025 to see what this new Snow White looks like. But it seems that maybe, just maybe, your cries have been heard when it comes to this new Snow White film. I guess we'll see. But I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matter. Drop your comments down below. As always, if you disagree, duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day. And I'll see you next time. Yeah, you better.